There are several types of mounted bearings that PPI uses on conveyor pulleys. First is the SCM bearing. We also have the PPI Type E and the heavy duty SAF pillow block. The SCM bearing is a light duty ball bearing option. It features a single piece cast iron housing. There is a wide interlace for even load distribution. There's a shield and seals to prevent ingress of dirt and dust. For mounting, we have two set screws 120 degrees apart. This bearing is interchangeable with other SCM bearings on the market as well. Our next option is the PPI Type B bearing. This also is a single piece cast iron housing. It also has set screw mounting. But one of the added features is this uses a spherical roller bearing. Now many other brands use a tapered roller bearing, but PPI uses a spherical because it gives you the added misalignment capability. We also have very effective double lip contact seals, which prevent ingress of dirt and dust. Like many other bearings that we provide, the Type E is interchangeable with Type E's on the market from other brands. The next option we'll talk about is the SAF pillow block bearing. Different from the other two options we talked about, this is a split two-piece housing. It will have either two or four bolts that mount the two pieces together. It could also have a four or two bolt mounting pattern. Going to the internal components, we first have the seals. This is an LER labyrinth seal. This is by far the most common seal type that's used, although it's not best for very dirty environments. If for some reason the shaft is end capped or it ends inside the bearing housing, we use an end cap like this instead of a seal. For cases where it's a very dirty environment, we have our taconite seal shown here. This seal uses a grease zerk like you would on your bearing housing, and it has an oil seal to prevent ingress of material along the shaft. Next, we'll move to the SNW. This stands for sleeve, nut, and washer. These are the components that mount the shaft to the bearing itself. The sleeve interacts with the bearing rolling elements shown here. This is the most important and the most expensive part of the bearing. On every pulley assembly, there's both a held and a free bearing. This is done using a stab ring. You'll put it on one side of the bearing and it holds that bearing in place. Now the other side is free to move in this direction based on the expansion and contraction of the shaft. Thank you.